this. Now. Professor? Dr. Lehman, these numbers, they can't be right. I wish they weren't. No, look, the mass assumption... That's surprisingly hefty, but correct. I was going to say too small. And, and the trajectory, that means it's heading... Right, right for us. And she is, pardon, the melodrama planet killer. But that's impossible. I mean, I just checked the near-Earth object database and nobody has slogged anything remotely close. Unless something hit one, something big enough to knock her out of her orbit. Here, I'm pretty sure... It's Cassandra. No way. I'm afraid so. That's 61 miles, about three times the size of Mount Everest. I mean, we're, we're talking extinction events. Like the dinosaurs. Yeah. What's so funny? In Greek mythology, the sun god Apollo cursed Cassandra with the power to predict death and destruction. So what do we do? On the asymmetrical trajectory algorithm, find Cassandra's approach vectors, send the coordinates to JPL, and pray there's enough firepower to blast it from the sky. Hey, it's me, Ken. I'm heading back to school. Um, I, uh, Grandpa says hi. I love you. Call me when you can. There. Jenny, I know there's tension between you and your dad. You've had words, but believe me, they are just words. He loves you very much. Right, well, you know, if he ever finds the time, he can tell me that himself. You betcha. So? So? You called me? I thought we talked about going in in the morning. You want to go now? Why not? Did you tell Mary? Yeah, I told her. What'd she say? Buddy boy. What is it? Why'd you think it was gonna happen, Jack? I turned myself in, you become a big hero. Bringing in the dirty cop, ex-partner to boot. Gal, I can help. I can help you, I can't. 
Thanks, Jack. But I think I can handle it from here. Dr. Chatwin, it's Imogen O'Neill. Imogen. Oh, sweetheart. We have an emergency, and Dr. Lehman. An emergency? You mean another emergency? Dr. Chatwin. You know, if you'd just taken the job at JPL, you wouldn't always be off on these wild goose chases with Daniel. No, no, it, it's not a goose chase. Okay, I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Asteroid 114 Cassandra is coming right at us. I need you to get the sack NORAD on this. Cassandra is a main belt asteroid, Daniel. It's a minor planet, for God's sake. Its closest pass to us is 400,000 miles outside of Earth's orbit. She was knocked off course after an impact with a comet. You might be able to see her with a near Earth radar by morning, but by then it'll be too late. Get to JPL now. We don't have. Ah, we don't have much time. Oh, God, Daniel. You'll go to bed, all right? I'll look into it when I get to the office. We're coming right to you. We have the numbers to show you. But right now, every minute counts. The harbingers that are being knocked loose by the initial collision are already here. We have maybe 24 hours before. I know what harbingers are, Dr. Lehman. They belong to you, don't they? They're the reason you're alive now. You took my family from me, Jack. Now, I'm gonna return the favor. I'm gonna pay a little visit to Jenny up there at that fancy college of hers. Oh, your dad lives out that way too, doesn't he? <laughs> Convenient. Baby. One mighty. Oh, you gotta check this out. You okay? You okay? Oh wow. That's cool. Russ. Come here, quick, have a look. get there, I want you to call me. Grandpa, it's gonna be too late. I don't care how many Gee, days I want you. It's Russ Habscom. There's a fire at his place. He said a meteor crashed in his field. What? All right, get the fire department up there. We'll be right behind him. Yes, sir. Peter runs me. Did he really just say meteor? Yeah. Boy's got an imagination. <laughs> now, listen, I want you to drive the speed limit. <laughs> right. Give me a hug. Love you, Grandpa. Love you, too. Thanks for coming. Dr. Chetwin, but don't you think he's going to figure this all out when he gets to JPL and looks at the radar readouts? I mean, wh why are we why are we going? We were the only ones monitoring the initial impact, so they'll need our data to plot an intercept trajectory. Plus, none of their systems allow for enough variables. Look, uh, Dr. Lehman, uh, please don't take this the wrong way. But... 
Come on, out with it. Why are we going? He didn't believe you. Trust me, he'll believe us when we get there. Why? Because by then lots more rocks will have fallen. Lots more people will be dead. Ladies and gentlemen, you were woken from your beds and flown here in the dead of the night because somewhere in your past, you either volunteered for or were volunteered by your agency for a seat on the Near Earth Object Emergency Response Task Force. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm General Brasser of the Army Space Program, and I have been appointed by the President to lead this task force in solving the crisis we face today. But simply, an interplanetary dust storm seems to be headed our way. Uh, hi. Um... Nate Chetwin, JPL. Ah, the rocket scientists, welcome. In the last six hours, we've had multiple meteor impacts on the west coast of the United States. We're still compiling data from the Navy and various satellites, but we can estimate that there have been at least 12 other impacts in the Pacific Ocean. Now, Dr. Chetwin, I assume you have a team tracking this. Well, I've only recently been briefed on all of this. The, the information's been trickling in and... But yes, um, we, we got word a few hours ago from one of our observatories in the meteor tracking network. Now, the, 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 the data is still being verified, but um, there is the possibility that a comet has struck an asteroid. And if that's true, then the increased meteor activity we're experiencing is the, uh, the debris from that initial collision. How big can these rocks get? Anything from a pebble to the size of a truck. And the bad news? The comet collision may have altered the parent asteroid's trajectory enough that it may be on its way to us too. Size, mass, velocity? He's calculating that as we speak. Worst case scenario. We may be looking at 114 Cassandra, a main belt asteroid. It's large enough to be considered a small planet. She's 60 miles in diameter and her impact with Earth would be enough to end life as we know it. If you want the worst case scenario. Time till impact? Still calculating, but my, my best guesstimate is 24 to 48 hours. Unfortunately, if it is Cassandra, you're going to have to destroy her long before that, because if, if we hit her when she's too low in our atmosphere, the, the, the debris fallout from the explosion it would be catastrophic. Okay, people, we got our hands full. Let's get moving. Well, check. I need a full workup on the asteroid we're dealing with and a trajectory for an ideal interception point, and I need it in 30 minutes or less. You know, it's early. Don't tell me how early it is. I need you at your desk in 10 minutes. And get me Dr. Lehman now. Jack, I'm going to do everything I can. Jesus, Cap, that's not enough. It's Calvin. You know him. Look, this is Jenny we're talking about. I know, man. But do you see what's going on out there? Tom. Tom, you used to bounce her on your knee. Please. Let me... He's not getting far. All right? Who was that? Was that about Jenny? It's the mayor. You call me if you hear anything. Will do. I'll get some rest, would you? Beautiful. 
Bravo. Bet it's even better up in the mountains. Come on. Hey. Hey. Forget something. Oh, thank you. My rock. Best roommate ever. <laughs> Come on, we gotta roll. Hey, at least someone's enjoying this. Are you still here? Yeah, we missed the bus and all the excitement. I'll take him in. No, no, I'll do it. I'll give us some good mother-son time. Hey, kid! Let's go! Time for school. Limo's leaving. Shouldn't I stay and help? Mm, nice try. Come on, get in the car. I'll try to get off early, all right? Hey, Russell, the fireman tell me it's safe now. Well, I'm going to come take a look. Well, how bad is it? See for yourself. You get a chance to watch the news this morning? Oh, the power's still out. Apparently, a few of these things hit sometime last night. Some kind of freak meteor shower. Most of them landed in the Pacific, except for this one. It's Nate Chetwin. Is Daniel with you? I'm right here. Dan, I'm sorry. I, I was wrong about Cassandra. Have you had a chance to calculate the trajectory? You're breaking up. Call us back. We're standing by for a missile launch. No, no. Don't launch. You don't have the trajectory right. Hello? He doesn't have the original impact coordinates. He's using the algorithm I gave him years ago. They're going to miss. Get him back. No signal. He said sorry. What? He apologized. I think he actually apologized. Great. No, ma'am, I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job. But you need to get the president to address the country right away, or we will have widespread panic. Thank you, man. Sir, just heard from NASA. Near-Earth satellite radar confirms that it's 114 Cassandra. Colonel Beck, how long until missile launch? 21 minutes, sir. Perfect. Let's get a live feed in five. Yes, sir. Uh, and I still need the... Dr. Chetwin, how about those coordinates? I've got them, sir. I'm just double-checking them. We need them now. Okay. We got it. We got it. 
Perfect. You've reached Dr. Lehman. Please leave a message. Dr. Lehman, Imogen, it, it's Nate. We're, we're about to launch, and I need to confirm the Cassandra trajectory with you. There's, there's something wrong with the numbers. Medium man. Simon. Long time. Yeah, long time. Hey, what's going on here? I thought my house was the only one that got hit. Some FEMA guy told people to stock up, so. Wow. Yeah, wow is right. Hey, that's my water. You got your name on this? I'm over here getting milk before they run out of that, too. Look, I'm sorry, sir. I said that's my water. It's for my family. Hey, Blacks. Why don't you just get your ass out of my town and crawl back to where you came from? Come again? Let's let it go. It's not worth it. You gotta let it go. There's more water over there. You have yourself a nice day, sir. You heard what he said to me? Yeah, I heard. I was born here. Some mouth. Yeah, that mouth gonna get his ass kicked. Did the right thing. Damn it. I think it's dead. Sorry. Don't panic. We have to keep our heads. See if we can wave someone down. We always stop for a girl. Very carefully, you are in real danger. Stark, my, my ex-partner, Calvin Stark, you remember him? Well, he's done something terrible, baby. You are in danger, okay? As soon as you get this message, you need to call the... No, you need to run to the police station in town and have them call me or Captain Finnegan at LAPD Precinct 9 immediately. All right? This is for real, baby. All right? I love you. Just go. Go now. Unpredictable nature of the current meteor shower crisis, all motorists are strongly urged to refrain from driving. Yeah, it sure beats the parking lot on the side. Maybe we should go back. Why? I mean, things are falling out of the sky. They're telling people to stay off the road. People are sheep. They overreact. I just think. Hot tub. Hot tub. Hot tub. I'm serious. Me too. There's also a fully stocked bar, 40 acres of pristine forest. Hey, babe. If the world's ending, I'd rather be with you. You are so full of it. <laughs> Come on. 
was. That was for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, if you're a good boy the rest of the way, I might let you fish that out. You stopped a fight over water? Yeah, I'm telling you, our house gets hit, but it's everyone else around here who's freaking out. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just fixing up the windows before Michael gets home. I hear they're letting the kids out early. Dr. Habscomb, we need to stat. All right, you heard that, babe. I love you. I gotta go. Watch it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. TV, what was it, famous said? It was his big message, stay off the roads. Like some freaking kind of travel advisory. Unbelievable. That's your tax dollars work right there. I've been all over town, people starting to hoard food and supplies. Next thing, everyone's gonna be holed up in their houses, and that's when the low lives are gonna be coming out of the woodwork. Having a slow day at the garage? Hello, Chief. Glad. Boys, uh, planning a hunting trip? Well, you know, duck season's right around the corner. Well, today might be a good day to stay indoors. Yeah, but what if you have some real trouble? You're gonna need some God-fearing boys at your side. What I need is for people to stay nice and calm, not running around with weapons. <laughs> I don't recall martial law being declared. We have the right to assemble. Dwight. You are beginning to annoy me. That would not be in your best interest. Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you. I'm just telling you how it is. Now, I suggest you take care of your families rather than your guns. So, uh, where in Los Angeles do you, you need to go? Uh, GPL. Jet Propulsion Laboratories. It's just off the 210. Thanks for picking me up. You remind me of my daughter, and I never let her walk alone. Yet we have heard no official word on what's going on. But with the meter strikes increasing, what started out as an especially beautiful sunrise might turn out to be the first warning sign of a national emergency. Maybe they'll catch school tomorrow. Oh, Mikey's got a girlfriend. Hey, if you ever want a real man. Leave her alone. Or what? He ain't gonna help you. Doofus can't protect his woman. Nope. Quit it. Aw. Is Doofus gonna cry? Big mistake. Coordinates confirmed? Sounds good. Yeah. Your confidence is overwhelming. Punch it. We're locked in. Launch codes. Hot and ready, sir. We're go for logs. Call it, Colonel. On my mark. 10, 
Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. To me, people. We lost them, sir. I, I got no feet. Me neither. They're offline. The satellite. Speak up. Are we on satellite comlink with the launch site? That's right. I think the satellite got hit. The harbingers. The, the, the debris from the initial comet impact. Quigley. Yes. Yes. Confirmed? Yes. Roger that. Please stand by. Sir, missiles are intact. We just lost the satellite feeds. Recommendations. Launch based on the trajectory model, sir. No! No! Without satellite guidance, I, I, I advise against that. The trajectory computation, it, it's not foolproof. I need more time. Right. But I'm sorry, I don't think we should be hurling nuclear weapons blindly. Pardon me, Dr. Chapman, but what the hell have you been doing all this time? The best I can. We've never dealt with this big an asteroid mask. And not at this proximity, and that the, the algorithm I'm using isn't working for some reason. I can't reach the man that created it. Well, find him for Pete's sake. Where is he? He's on his way in from Mexico. Mexico? What the hell is he doing in Mexico if he's so integral to this whole thing? I fired him. He went crazy. <sighs> Help Dr. Chapman find his man. Get the White House involved. Call him the doggone Marines. We need that trajectory on this thing right away, now! I'm sorry, but it's not my fault. The thing overheated, okay? The car is a piece of crap. Yeah? Oh, that's nice. Nice. Yeah. Jackass. Sorry, ma'am. LAPD. I'm gonna have to commandeer your vehicle. Police emergency. You gave me a heart attack. Step away from the car, please. Have you seen what's happening out there? I gotta get home. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to insist. Officer, please. Please, I live all the way in Palm Vista. My kids are waiting. I'll never make it on foot. Palm Vista? You live out near the college? Yeah. My lucky day. Do you mind if I bother you for a ride? <laughs> of course I'll take you. Wherever you need to go, pop in. Well, thank you, ma'am. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay if I uh, get you to border? No, no, look, I really, I, I have to. I, I'm very sorry, senorita. I just, I, I just need to get to my familia, you know, I. Of course. Wait, is that a police station? Si. Great, well, maybe they could radio the embassy or, or call JPL for me. Very good idea, senorita. Yes, very good. Gracias. Thank you so much. De nada. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Si. Yeah, you go home to your family. Gracias. Buena suerte. Good luck to you too.
check that fuel line. Come on, let's go. Hey! What about the rest of these kids? We're full up. We gotta take this group to, to High View, and this next group gotta go to Coast Central. You've only got one ambulance? We got accidents all over. It's insane. I want you to get over to Dylan's car dealership as soon as possible. Round up every available man, get every truck and van over here just as soon as you can. Take it easy, son. You're gonna be fine. All right, we'll get you to the hospital and I'll make sure your mom and dad are there to meet you, okay? Sir, everyone's losing satellite coverage. NSA, Pentagon, commercial networks. How big can these dust don't get? Don't think of it as dust. I'm sure our satellite and every satellite worldwide is getting shredded to pieces. Let's not lose it, people. We won the Second World War without satellites. I'm not going to give it up now. Ground wire all communications. Yes, sir. What if he can't solve it? Well, at some point, the pain will be visible on ground radar. Which is another reason that I think we should save our biggest missiles for them. We also may be underestimating the amount of firepower we're going to need here. Colonel Beck targeted over 500 missions in his career. I know we're not talking about a surgical strike on Baghdad. You're trying to pulverize a giant rock. It's four times the size of Manhattan into tiny little pieces small enough so the fallout, if we're lucky enough to hit it, doesn't kill us anyway. We got one chance at this thing. I think we all better get it right. We'll take that under advisement. I want you to get your numbers straight. Hello? What? Where? Where? I'm coming. Hey, how you holding up? I'm fine, thanks for checking in. And thanks for the wheels. I owe you. You're gonna be putting my kids through college after they fire my ass. You won't get fired. I'll get Finnegan to vouch for you. All right. I trust you, handsome. You're the woman of my dreams, Trish. Gotta go. No love V. Ah, Americana. Si, yes. I have to get to Jet Propulsion Laboratories in Los Angeles. There's information on this computer that's very important the the government needs. I I'm a scientist and I'm, I'm, I'm working on the meteors that are, that are coming down. It it's very, very important. That's uh, very, um, como de dice, importante. Urgent, huh? Si, yes. Why don't you just call them on the telefono? Yes! Right! Vamos! Otro oficina! We have, they have phones, uh, how you say, uh, long distance? Oh, thank you. Yeah, office. Okay. Move at day! What the hell, cabrón? Ella estaba snooping around. She's alone. Please. I'm just trying to get to Los Angeles. He's gone. <laughs>
cute, hein? <rire> Guapit. Hein? <rire> Take an aide. Andale, vámonos! Mouvate! Andale! I mean, like this meteor thing, I mean, sure, I'm worried. I mean, who wouldn't be? But it's kind of exciting, you know? I mean, I'm no crazy, but I like a little adventure every now and then. So, are you married? Yes. Happily? I guess I could tell you that. Yeah? But then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> that was good. You actually had me on that one. You have to kill me. <laughs> Casualty report. Only 41 so far nationwide, which is a minor miracle. Injuries in the hundreds, sir. Last batch was a second bus full of kids. It's getting ugly. General, here you go. We need to get people underground. How are we coming with that? We're building shelters in every conceivable location. Underground parking lots, malls, old bomb shelters, any tunnel that's not jammed with traffic, even a few working mine shafts. And I've got word from the Pentagon, so we'll open civilian access to subterranean facilities, mostly old missile storage in Arkansas, Idaho, Iowa, and Kansas, and working on more so. General, we've got an image on ground radar. On screen, please. Oh my God, they're getting larger. Which one of these is Cassandra? We can't see Cassandra yet. All right, people. Things are about to get a whole lot worse. We need to get people underground, and we need to get the National Guard out to guide them there. More importantly, Colonel Beck. Uh, missile deployment nearly complete. We've got every major population center covered with stingers and Patriot batteries in the rural areas. Roger that. Good work. Okay, people, let's move. Sir? Did you find him? The Mexican police found Dr. Lehman, sir. Excellent. They found him dead, sir. A suspected hit and run. What about Imogen, his assistant? They didn't find anyone else, sir. I'm sorry. Problem, officer. You have to turn back and exit that detour sign you just ignored. That'll lead you to a pickup point. I'll take you to a shelter from there. I'm sorry, but that's unacceptable, right? We got. Shep, do as he says. a mass casualty accident. Spill over from Ivy General. How many? Seven children. A school bus. Great. Uh, how far away are they? They're here. Here? Oh, they forgot to call ahead? Well, the phones are screwed up. The radios are messy. Chelsea. What? What? The bus. It's from Michael's school. BPS hypo, 966, pulse is tacky, internal injuries. Uh, two units of plasma IV push and prep for surgery. Go. Oh, God. 118 over 90, rest is shallow, but pulse is holding up. Possible concussion. He's been up. Doctor. Chelsea. 
What do we do? My baby. Oh, my baby. Dr. Haskell. Uh, ten units of saline IV push, x-ray, and CAT scan. Move! Next patient. God! Ah! No, I mean, everything was just so crazy, and I just, just wanted to get home. You passed two or three gas stations. I know. <laughs> kind of funny, you know? Oh, shut up. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I mean, here I am. Good time. Okay. Oh. Get off me! Good. Oh. 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 Things, please. Right. This is ridiculous. We're going as fast as we can, sir. No, you're not going fast enough. I gotta get home to my kids. Can we go home? Hush. Excuse me, I'm out of here. Sir, you didn't pay for that. Sir? Freeze! Please, put those things down and get out. Man, I got kids. Let them go! Stop. Please. What are you gonna do? Shoot me over two gallons of water? We ain't gonna put up with any of this savory. We're not gonna tolerate any lawlessness. That's right, Dwight. Uh, you're absolutely right. That's why you need to go home. Just trying to lend a helping hand here, Chief. You've helped enough. Time to go home now. And if I see either of you boys with your pea shooters out again, I will confiscate them and I will melt them down for scrap iron. Get him to the hospital. When he's up to it, I suggest he press charges. Sir. Yeah. Things are starting to fall apart here. You know, I mean no disrespect, but you're not getting any younger, and this place was being robbed, and you came in way late. Please, just go. Okay, I'll settle. Hey, for nobody's talking to you. Now get him home. He needs to cool off. Get him some ice. Yeah. There's no need for that. You know, he's got a point. We're spending a lot of time tearing each other apart. We need to lend each other a hand. Now, I want you all to go home. I want you to pick up your kids, some food, some blankets, whatever medicine you need, and then head over to the fallout shelter at the high school. We'll be safe there. We'll do everything we can to make you comfortable. And, and remember, we're all in this together. We need to look out for each other. So tell your friends and tell your neighbors. And to help each other. One on. Let's do what he said. You can pay me later. Do something for your boys. Just go home, everybody. It's okay. In what experts are calling a one in a million tragedy, a meteor has struck down a passenger plane killing all 212 passengers and crew. The real tragedy is that the aircraft was struck while trying to land minutes after the FAA suspended all air traffic in Northern America. Because of the meteor storm that has turned this into one of the most tragic days in modern history. Sir, incoming right over downtown LA, and it's a big one. Patch it through to the ground commander. Half empty kind of garage. You don't have enough missiles to knock them all down. The United States arsenal has a lot of assets. 
You better save most of them for Cassandra. We're all dead, no matter what. How goes the trajectory? Working on it. that has shewn me the future. This is the emergency broadcast service. Stand by for official instructions from state and federal authorities. All roads and highways, including the Eisenhower Interstate Highway System, are closed to all traffic until further notice, with the exception of public safety, emergency medical, and military vehicles. All citizens are strong Say, well, CAT scan was negative. Look, do you want to? No, 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 no. I'm gonna finish up here. Michael Stable. He's luckier than this poor kid. Now, the shirt. Please, if I don't get to JPL, we're all gonna die. The camiseta! The shirt! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Please, please. You don't have to do this. Please, please. Please don't. We have to get to shelter. Now, the rest. Do you wanna die? If I die today, I will die with one smile in my face. <laughs> Screw it. I'll do it myself. On your knees, now!
can't believe they made me leave my bed. Squad, fall in. Shut the hell up about your damn car already. Sorry, folks. We just got word from the shelter. That's all the room we've got. God, they can't. That's not right! He can't just leave us out here! We're way overcrowded, and there's plenty of room at the shelter just over in Carville. I can't walk 15 miles! I've got two kids! Please, officer, please! Come on. Leave it alone. Sir? Sir! Miss, you need to get back on the truck. You can let her in. I'm sure we can squeeze her in. The shelter is dangerously overcrowded as it is. Please. Folks, the sooner you get moving, the sooner you'll get there. Come on. You get on the truck. We'll give you our place. Oh, honey, I couldn't. No, we can walk 15 miles. You can't. Come on, let's go. What? Let her on the truck. My boyfriend and I are leaving. There are three of them. It's a baby. You're being ridiculous. Don't worry. You just go with him. We'll be fine. Come on, it's not our fault that we got here first. Please, someone! This lady has kids! Jenny! You're making a scene. We'll go! God bless you! God bless you! Move out! Do you think we'll make it to Carville by nightfall? Not with the freeway shut down. We should find some place to crash. I know somewhere. Oh, yeah? They've got a hot tub. Mm -hmm. Dad was good for something. Uh, you're funny, Dad. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Hapstone. What's wrong? The supply truck. It didn't come on. No answer in the company. Oh, crap. What is it? Today, of all days, we were supposed to be restocked on half our meds. But the truck never showed. I guess, given everything. And we're out of really basic stuff, like penicillin, disinfectant. I already shouldn't be performing half the procedures I'm doing. What about the pharmacy? What do you mean? Rangers. Their daughter's in my class. Wouldn't they have some of the stuff you need? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Well, you've been busy, honey. Do you think they're open? Well, I know Dan Granger. He'll definitely help out regardless. Just make a list. Your father is a genius. I love you. I love you. Get a room, people. <laughs> you make a list. I'll go call ahead to the pharmacy. Get some rest, okay? You take care of your mom.
What's your hurry? I'm an American citizen, and I'm... Are you a police officer, ma'am? No, but... Step out of the car, please. You don't understand. Now, ma'am. My name is Imogen O'Neill, and um, I'm working on the Meteor Task Force. So... There's a gun in the car. What? Got a firearm, Johnny! No, 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 that is not my gun. Would you turn around and face the vehicle, please? Turn around, face the vehicle, please. Face the vehicle. Put your hands out, spread your legs. Please, I have to get to a phone. I have coordinates that Dr. Tetwin, the government needs to shoot down the asteroid. All right, she's clean. May I see your passport, please? Yes, of course. Damn it. My jacket. My jacket. I left my jacket back at the police station. I see. Why are you driving a Mexican police car? Because I was... I was attacked by these two men. And, and they killed these two officers back at the police station. Uh, uh, you're gonna have to come with me, no. please. No, you're not listening to me here, okay? We don't have time. Then we better get this sorted out quickly. The atmosphere is increasing and they're getting bigger. The hits are measuring on the Richter scale. And we're starting to miss. Cripes. Casualty count? It's over a thousand. Sir, we got two monsters heading for Huntsville, New York, and no Patriot missiles in range. 17,000. I grew up a couple towns from there. Well, I've got a sub off the coast. Two any sap missiles will vaporize us. Wait, wait, wait. Once again, we can't afford to waste the big missiles. We gotta save everything we got for Cassandra herself. So what, we're just supposed to let 17,000 people die? I don't know! Well, what good is saving 17,000? You lose the whole planet in the morning! So aren't most people in shelters by now? Some, it's taking time. Sir, I have two more heading for towns in North Dakota and Minnesota. Same scenario, out of Patriot range. All right, General, you cannot- Enough! The next thing I want to hear from you are the coordinates for where to hit the asteroid. I'm sorry, but I will not sacrifice all these people. Take whatever you need, knock down anything you can. You heard the man. All subs, all silos, spin them up. Got it. Take the stairway to the right. There's food and water down there. You'll be safe. I got these from Myrna at the motel. Good work. Get them down there. We're filling up fast. You got it. All right, here. Here you go, man. First stairway to the right, sweetheart. Chief, he's got a gun. Do you think you can sucker punch me and get away with it, old man? No, sir. You do not disrespect me. Son. It may seem to you like you have the drop on me, but I can assure you it only seems that way. Don't forget I do this for a living. So I can guarantee you this. First, I will disarm you, and then I will shoot you dead. You don't want that now, do you? Do you? You want respect, Dwight? You got to earn it. Well, there's your chance. That sound? That's our challenge. That's the good Lord throwing down his gauntlet. 
asking us who we are and what we're made of. He wants to know what we're capable of doing in the face of adversity, whether we'll stick together or whether we just fall apart. Now, all of us could be dead here in a split second, but before we go, we each of us have to answer the call. What's your answer, Dwight? the right choice. Lots of people downstairs need help getting set up. Called your father myself. Still no answer. I'm sorry. Try to get some rest, okay? The two of you. My mom's a really good doctor. She's gonna fix him up. We'll see. Mom? Mom! I apologize. Mom. We are experiencing technical, technical difficulties. Again, federal RFID system is having to get to a shelter. Maya. <gasps> Mr. Crow? I didn't mean to scare you. Where's Jenny? Uh, she went to the cabin for the weekend with Shep. I just gave the address to your partner. Calvin was here already. How long ago? Uh, half an hour ago. And you told him where she was? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. He said you had your hands full and you asked him to get her home. What with the meteors and all. Doesn't he work with you? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Um, do you have the address? Uh, here. Shouldn't you be in a shelter? I'm on my way. All right, we'll get a move on. Thanks for the help, pal. I really mean it. It was good of you to help a brother out. You're a good man. Unless you talk to me. I've been doing this job 35 years. 
First time I ever heard that. I am a scientist. I am working. Just hold on, ma'am. They say one of the meteors hit some computer routing thing in Nevada. So we got no internet at all. I can't check your identity until we're up and running. Do you know what happens when a class one asteroid hits a class one comet? No, ma'am. It gets knocked off course. Its trajectory becomes unknowable. Unless you know exactly how to look. And when it hits the Earth, we all go home to the good Lord. You're a man of faith. Look me in the eye and tell me I'm lying. Now you're playing me, miss. Wait! Wait! Lock me up! Put me in a cell! Keep me here forever! I don't care! Just call Jet Propulsion Laboratories. Tell them that you have Daniel Lehman's computer. You have the asymmetrical trajectory algorithm. I will write this down for you. Please, we're running out of time. I'll tell you what. I'll get you a phone. Thank you. You're really scared, aren't you? I'm terrified. Take her out that way. Oh, okay. Where are you going? No, the second floor is it safe? No, I have to get my son. <laughs> Calculated the most likely course for Cassandra. Half blind shots better than no shot at all. Started in the early morning hours just after the San Clemente strike. We have about an 11 minute window, 13 tops. I think she's about to enter atmosphere. I told you what'll happen if we hit her too low. Let's plug these in. Launch in five minutes. Mr. President, we're launching. Dr. Chapman, there's an image in O'Neill on line two for you. Wait. Excuse me, Mr. President. What? It, it's Lehman's assistant. She might have an update. Imogen! I'm running the asymmetrical algorithm on Cassandra's trajectory. I know, I know. I've been running them all day. The 3D analytics don't hold up. It, 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 the numbers are going off the charts. That's what Dr. Lehman was trying to tell you. He revised the algorithm. I've been trying to get this to you so you can plug it into your mainframe. Imogen! But we're going to have to rely on the laptop. I've used a much smaller sampling ratio. No, no, no. We're, we're waiting to launch. Will you just give me five minutes? I need the trajectory now! It's been hours since Dr. Lehman... Last round of numbers. Am I holding the launch? Imogen, now! Now! We're going. Two minutes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I got it. Hold the, hold the launch! Hold the launch! Oh, come on! General! I got the trajectory. Imogen, I'm putting on speakerphone. Give me the trajectories. Now! Go! Go! Okay, Cassandra's trajectory is from 5, 17, 46, descending to 0, 2, 20, 0, 6. I repeat. Got it. Sir, do I reprogram the launch? How sure are you of these numbers? I am more sure than of anything else we've got. Dan Lehman was a genius. Who well, you fired because he was crazy. Sir, reprogram in the new numbers. Hit it hard. The plant killer. Thank you, miss. I think we're quite clear on that by now. Mr. President, we're launching. Go. New coordinates, reset the clocks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We let her get too low. Five, get the Patriots ready. There's going to be debris and a lot of it. Three, two, one, launch. Birds are away. Still radar blind. How will we know if we hit it? The fallout hits, we'll know. Get Miss O'Neill to the bunker at Edwards Air Force Base. I need her on a secure hard line. Don't fly her. It's gonna be a ton of debris. Ground all the flights. Military too. 
Let's do it. Ground all flights. Get Miss O'Neill to Edwards. Use any means necessary. Yes, sir. What's wrong? You know, I'm not sure. I I was extrapolating Dr. Lehman's formula and, and, and uh, the assumption was not right. Huh. One minute to intercept. Murphy. Sir? Yes, sir. She's right here. Of course, sir. Thank you, sir. That was the vice president. What? The vice president of the United States. They need you at Edwards Air Force Base ASAP. Okay, hang on. Can you do that in the car? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go. I want to take you there myself. It's not every day you get a call like that. on standby. Why? Buddy boy, <laughs> you're not much of a cop. Let her go. Let her go, Gal. Oh, you're a funny man. Put your gun down. Put it down, or I'll splatter all over the damn room. Put it down. That a boy, nice and easy. Kick it over to me now. <laughs> On your knees now. Down on your knees. That's a good boy. <laughs> just take me and let her go. Oh, that's just touching. But you're missing the point. I want you to feel what I feel. My pain. Cal, God, help me, I feel it. You don't feel my pain, but you will. No!
Now that's some fireworks. Oh, God. Beautiful, huh? So those things are gonna land. We gotta find cover. Now. Look at the bright side. You did it. You saved us. No, I didn't. I should have seen this a lot sooner. What's wrong? The asteroid should be reaching us a lot later and somewhere in Europe. Everything is off from the mass estimate. I'm sorry, I'm not following. Right there. Wrong assumption right from the start. Dr. Lehman miscalculated the asteroid's mass. The original comet hit Cassandra all right, but it didn't just send it toward the Earth. Okay. The original impact split her in two. So? So it's not over. The second half of Cassandra is still coming. I think she's bigger. We're the only ones who know. We have to call them now. Transmitting right now. We do have a signal. A Pentagon. 
A Pentagon official, a Pentagon official reached by telephone has just confirmed that U.S. missiles have destroyed an asteroid that entered the Earth's atmosphere tail end. Meteors to hit our planet in recorded history. Hit our planet in recorded history. Meteor impacts have caused destruction worldwide. Work we've been unable to re-establish communication with anyone outside of North America since our satellite feed went down. So all we're able to bring you are these images from last night. Last night. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Here in the U.S., casualty counts. Here in the U.S., casualty counts are still being compiled, but the estimates we've been able to piece together are rapidly climbing to a staggering 22,000. 22,000. Property damage is being estimated in the hundreds of billions and environmental impact is truly catastrophic. An hour ago, the president addressed the nation via shortwave radio, which is quickly becoming the only reliable mode of communication. We ask that you stay where you are, or if where you are isn't safe, please proceed to the closest shelter or FEMA camp. Now that the meteor storm and debris fallout has stopped, we've begun using aircraft to deliver aid nationwide. Try to remember, as dark as this day may seem, we have neutralized an asteroid that could have wiped us out of existence. We have lived to fight another day. We have prevailed. Calvin, Calvin, please. All right, all right, partner. Just for old time's sake, I'm gonna be real nice about this and make it fast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's over. There have been no reported impacts in the last three hours. Now, I'm not one for speeches, but on behalf of the president and a very grateful nation, I want to thank each and every one of you for a job well done. We've accomplished our mission. We stopped the meteors. Now it's up to other teams to clean up the mess. Now, I know we all want to get to our families. The skies are clear. We've got choppers on standby. Let's go home.
Murphy. Don't try to talk. You gotta go. Go warn them. Go. Oh, no. No. You're not getting off that easy. I have a granddaughter. When she grows up, I want her to be like you. No. Signal's too weak. Got some more blankets here, folks, if anybody didn't get one. Yeah. Turn it down, Patrick, will you? Scaring people. All right, listen up, folks. Listen up, please. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is that we haven't seen or heard anything fall out of the sky for the last couple of hours and the radio seems to be giving us an all clear. The bad news is uh, I'm afraid you're gonna have to stay here for a little while longer until we go out and check and make sure everything is safe. So give us your patience for just a little while longer and we'll get you home just as soon as we can. Nothing. Uh, the satellites are probably damaged. Can we just leave him here? Time to a pipe or something? Uh, I don't trust him. Uh, he's too smart. Come on. You okay? Oh, I'm feeling a little tender. You? Yeah. I wish mom was here. I do too. Kiddo, please answer. 
Oh, God, he's not breathing. What do we do? I don't know. Help! Help! Michael, can you hear me? Mom, I'm here. Mom, are you, are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but Buck's not. He's passed out. He's not breathing. I need you to go to Buck and do exactly what I say. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm here. Is he laying on his back? Yeah. Now I need you to breathe for him. Mom, I can't do this. I don't know how. You can do this, Michael. His life depends on it. Sir, we've got incoming. What? They're reading off the charts. What the hell? They're not fallout. They're too big. Then what are they? I don't know. It could be another wave. I don't know where it's coming from. I got no data here. And what the hell's our warning? We got no satellite coverage. And ground radar is still only 30% operational. Get everyone back. How far out is Colonel Beck? We can't raise these trappers, sir. Oh, my God. General, get everything in the air down now. You heard the man. And let's get all missile batteries back on alert. And pray that we have enough left. One, two, three, four. <coughs> no way, man, no way. What is it? It's okay. He's okay, Mom. Buck's okay. Oh, oh thank you, God. <sighs> Folks, I know that some of your homes have been damaged. Just remember, the fallout shelter is open for business. We're here to help you if you need us. Yeah, it could be worse. At least we're alive. phone a landline oh, great and it works yep oh thank god fifty dollars excuse me fifty dollars for the phone that's ridiculous look i'm a scientist there's another asteroid coming this is an emergency i need to talk to the government We're all gonna die, but apparently, all you care about is your stupid money. I just came across the border, okay? I have pesos and like $16. Come on, $16 for one stupid phone call? This is an emergency! I need to use your damn phone now. Drop it now! Please. Now go! Please, please don't shoot! Catastrophe from which we may never recover. The estimated cost of re 
rebuilding damaged and destroyed structures is projected to continue to rise for this foreseeable future. Many analysts are predicting a figure in the hundreds of trillions of dollars. Leading experts of the IMF have gone on record as saying that it will take a concerted effort by countries around the globe to address the truly biblical scale of the devastation. Max Pearl, Assistant Secretary of the Treasury, testifying at the first congressional hearing said that he believes the economies of the world will unilaterally become what he describes as stop. economies of necessity where rebuilding infrastructure and providing basic needs will become paramount for decades. Kitty Corcoran, NPR News, Los Angeles. I decided to make another run for survivors. Why aren't you at the shelter? I think Chelsea. Chelsea and Michael are inside. This whole place could cave in at any moment. Yeah, which is why I gotta get him out. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, this is a big place. There gotta be another way in. Where? There's a service entrance behind the south wing lot. We could try there. Come on. Let's go. Come on, come on. Jenny? Jenny? Hello, this is Chief Crow at the Taft Police Department requesting assistance. Anybody out there? Highway Patrol, come in. Still nothing. Maybe the relay station in Del Mar got hit. Yeah, maybe. Um, Chief. What is this? What's the matter? How long do you think we're going to be able to hold out? This is a, this is a catastrophe. We're going to need help. And we're going to get it. Son, we just keep going. We take it one hour at a time. The important thing is to stay cool. Now you hang in there, you're doing just fine. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Hello, this is Chief Crow at the Taft Police Department. Come in, come in. Chopper went down. No survivors. Sir! Go. I have a rock heading just south of Taft, California. Isn't that mostly desert? Sir, there's a Taft power plant. So most of the Pacific grid is already out. That's a nuclear power station. What are the chances? I don't know. I've never heard of a nuclear power station taking a direct hit from a meteor. Come in, Station 7. Chief, a meteor just hit the power station. Damn it. Get everybody back to the shelter right now.
Hey, uh, there's something's happening. <laughs> Mom! What? What happened? Buck, he's not breathing right. Uh, okay, is he bleeding? Is blood coming out of his mouth? <coughs> no! Okay, all right, that's good. Um... <coughs> Mom, what do we do? It's getting worse. Oxygen. He needs oxygen. Mom, what do I do? Okay, you need you need to calm him down. Get him to calm down his breathing. That's very important. How do I calm it? I... <coughs> uh. Mom. Michael. Uh... I need you to look around. You see uh, a closet. In fact, there should be an exit to a closet in the back. Is that locked? Yeah, I think I could get in there. Why? Okay, um, good. You're, you're gonna... Well, there's a hallway that leads down to stairs that go down to the first floor. That's where they keep the oxygen tanks. Okay, I'm going. And uh, once you get down there, you're gonna make a sharp left and then a right, and then you'll see the storage room. Okay, and please be careful. I will. You need to stay here and keep calm while I get oxygen, right? How? I don't know. I can't do this. No, you have to. Okay, just hurry. <laughs> Russ, Russ, come on, come on, breathe into it. Breathe into it, stand up. Oh, oh, come on. You gotta rest. All right, we'll figure this out. No! You know what? This I can solve. Chelsea! Michael! Chelsea! Come on! Lieutenant, have you heard anything about Imogen O'Neill yet? Nothing yet. I'm sorry, sir. I really could use her. doing this I thought maybe you were thirsty oh, I know what you mean your father destroys my life and now it's his turn to suffer is that what you mean just let me go there's there's nothing that come on Judy! come on have some fun huh life is too short baby it's a gorgeous day. We got fireworks in the sky. <laughs> oh, God, please don't kill me. <laughs> killing me will do nothing. Contraire, my sweet love. Killing you is going to be so, so much fun. And then I'm going to do your grandpa, your papa. <laughs> And then, you know what's going to be the best part of all this? Huh? Watching your daddy's face see it all happening. <laughs> You're good for now. But, you know what? I see that look again. You try to walk away again. I'm going to blow out your kneecaps and still make you walk. Understand me? And that hurts. Please. Please. You ever try walking without kneecaps, baby? Huh? <laughs> it's hard to do. And it hurts! Go!
prices for real? Supply and demand. What do you need? I'll take two of these bottles of water. One of what you're eating. This ought to cover it. Your math's not too good. No. Well, then maybe this will help. I'm not doing anything illegal. Pop, you all right? You have a permit for that? Put the gun down now. Or what? This can end a couple of ways, none of them good. This keeps up. Your son will wind up dead or a murderer. It's your call. Put it down. Now! Wait outside. Ordinarily, I'd have to confiscate the gun and take him in. Today's not really normal, though, is it? No. But showing him it's all right to take advantage of people during a crisis, this is not a very... <clears throat> not a very good example. You follow me? You should get to a hospital. No, I don't have time. I have to find my, uh, my daughter. You on foot? Yeah, I totaled my car back down the road. Look, uh, let, let, let me help you out. I owe you. Up and nobody answered. Oh, that's okay. I my hearing isn't as good as it used to be. Uh, would you like a cup of tea? I just made a pitcher. Yes, please. All right. But can I use your phone first? I'm just in a bit of a hurry. Oh, sure, you go. Go right ahead. Make yourself at home. Finn, 
Yes. Right away. Dr. Chetwin, Imogene O'Neill on two. Hey, how are you? Well, I've been better. Dr. Lehman's assumptions were off. Wait, wait, wait. I'm putting on the box. Lehman's assumptions what? We're off. He miscalculated the mass. The first half of Cassandra split the comet in two. And the asteroid we blew up? Was only half of Cassandra. And the other half is bigger. Now, this shouldn't be happening, but I still think it's heading right for us. All right, that explains the meteor activity we're getting. Wait, are you telling me there's another asteroid coming? Yes. Are you sure? Why didn't near-Earth radar pick that up yesterday? Because the first half of Cassandra was shadowing the radar. Now, look, I'm running the asymmetrical trajectory algorithm. Sir, I have incoming, and it's huge. That's Cassandra. Not as big as Cassandra. I'd say 900 square feet. Where's it headed? Uh, sir? Is that... Sometimes it acts up. No. I think they've been hit. Anything? No. I think we're all gonna die. Well, I think you're right. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting to a shelter? Why? If I'm going to die, I'll do it right here in my home with the things that I love. See, honey, I, I've come to terms with who I am and how I've lived my life. And I'm surprisingly happy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... I'm not. I can't. I can't just give up. Not if there's still a chance. Then you go, girl. Where's the nearest army base? Well, the Claremont Naval Station. I, I run it. Okay, okay. So if I could just communicate with Dr. Chetwin. If he's not gone and, um... Okay, and if he is, I'm sure they've set up some sort of command center by now. Um. Can I borrow your car? Oh, I'm sorry. I gave it to charity last year. Damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you use a gun? Follow me. I didn't see a mushroom cloud. Well, there could be radiation. That's why we need to get inside. All right, let's go, folks, all the way into the shelter.
One, two, now! Trajectory. Christ. He saved my life. Now who's gonna save ours? Turns out we use up most of our missiles on only half an asteroid. Coming back to finish the job. Even if we had enough firepower left, we're radar blind. No. No, we're not. The space station. Didn't we just send a team up last week? You're assuming they survived last night. But, sir, no one said they didn't. If they're still up there, they could be our eyes. How do we communicate? Satellites are up. And shortwave won't reach. What about the ground-based dishes? We can hook them up on a ghost relay, and then... It won't work for audio. We don't need audio. Just bursts. Morse code. Good thinking, soldier. Let's just hope it works. Now, I know you folks have been through a lot here, what with all the, the hoo-ha going on out there. And uh, I want you to know I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry, so... I need you to just stay calm and relax, all right? Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is good. Oh, look at that. Say cheese. <laughs> That's gonna turn out great, baby. There you go. All right. Gonna be out of your hair just in one sec. You're doing great. You're doing very good. You're not looking very relaxed, though. Hey. Why? Why not let them live? You know what? Never even occurred to me. <laughs> yeah, well. Associated Press is reporting there have been two hits in Siberia, one off the coast of Iceland and one as far south as the Sinai Desert.
What's it to you? The world's gonna end! Please don't shoot me, please! It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. I am a cop. I am a cop. Okay? Come on. Let's get you somewhere safe. Sure, we brought the water. Look, the most important thing is to find him and get him out of here. Yeah. Let's go. We gotta move. on the other side of the globe through the worst of it. Can they track the center? Yes, they say they've now got her on visual. She's that close? Yeah, they say their biggest problem will be staying out of her way. And our biggest problem is shooting her down. What good is knowing where she is if we used up all our missiles? We've got some left. Catelyn's girl said this asteroid is bigger. We're dead! Mr. Whitaker, you will either calm down or I will calm you down. Well said, Lieutenant. Here's a thought. What? We're not the only ones with missiles. Get me through to the bunker on shortwave. I need to get the president to start speaking with the Russians and... Uh, the Chinese. And let's pray they haven't used up their arsenal. I'm really sorry, ma'am, but I've told you already, the fresh fruit is for the kids. I think this rationing is ridiculous. Why should the elderly suffer? Ma'am, we have limited supplies. Limited supplies? Don't treat me like an idiot. Look, Mrs. Neely, you just choose something else. Oh! oh. Excuse me. Look, Dwight, stay out of this. We have plenty of fruit for the kids and Mrs. Neely. God bless you, young man. Thank you. You're welcome. Here you go, guys. Dwight. I was wrong. Thank you. Okay, folks, listen up. I checked the FEMA guidelines. The explosion itself was certainly not nuclear. 
So the chances of radioactive fallout, very small. But they're there. You're absolutely right. And that's why I brought these. What are those? Geiger counters. You have radiation suits that go with those? No, no, we don't. Unfortunately, we didn't plan the way we should have. This is unacceptable. You... Which is why I'm taking full responsibility. I'll check the radiation myself. Sure that's wise, Chief? Come to the territory. You can't go alone. He's right. The more that go with you, the quicker you can cover the town. The less you'll be exposed to radiation. Count me in. Right. Me too. Me too. Comes with the territory. I was hoping you'd say that. Step right up, gentlemen. Come on, Lester. Hey. Hey. Listen, these fellas are gonna take you to the FEMA camp. It's, it's only about a half an hour down the road. They have a full medical team there and I'm sorry, I, I wish I could take you myself, but I just have to find my daughter, so. Do you think anyone will care? About me, I mean, with all this going on? Yes, I care. These fellas care, the, the doctors will care. It may not seem so, but there are still decent people out there, okay? Really? Thank you. Glad I could help. Passed out a while ago.
Behave yourself. I'm gonna need you to turn around. Sir, you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Um, LAPD, we're in pursuit of a suspect we think might have come this way. May I pass? I'm sorry, sir, I can't let you do that. Nuclear power plant got hit with a meteor and they think there's gonna be some fallout. I need you to turn back. Oh, wow, that's crazy. No problem. No problem. Oh, excuse me. Sir? Do you guys have uh, an extra bottle of water or something? Yeah, of course, detective. One for the lady. Hold tight. Thank you. Look out! <laughs> If you ever try that again, I'm gonna do things to you. It's gonna make you beg me to kill you. Do you understand? I can't trust you anymore. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, wait. Get out of the car. Okay. Now. All right. You may want to take the safety off that weapon first. Please, don't kill me. This is your lucky day, lady. I am a cop, and I don't even have the time to arrest you. Okay, please. I need to get to the Claremont Navy base. Please. No. You need to get lost, all right? I am done. I need to find my daughter. Okay, and I need to get these coordinates to the Army to shoot down that asteroid, or we're all going to die while I sit here yelling at you. So basically, you need a lift. Yes. All right. I'm going to Taft. It's an hour away from Claremont. If the government really needs you, they can send someone to pick you up. No, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. Do you want to walk? No. No. Then get in. Get in. Sir? The Chinese are on board, but the doggone Russians refuse to share their arsenal. Their radar blind, they gotta protect their people, blah, blah, blah. 
What do the boys upstairs say? They estimate 20 minutes till she enters the atmosphere. Half hour tops. All right. Let's hope our missiles and the Chinese are enough. Let's get a trajectory from the space station. Sir? Go. You say the Russians are radar blind. And yeah, so are we. So what? So they don't know what's coming their way until it's about to hit. Your point? Why don't we warn them that ground zero for the asteroid hit is Moscow? And how would we know that, soldier? We don't, sir. They have to think we do. You mean... Yes, sir. We tell them Cassandra's headed their way and they won't get the exact coordinates until they agree to a coordinated launch. That's insane. Sir, we are running out of options. That's the only thing that just won't work. How's it going? It looks all clear here. Same here. I'll do a few more blocks, then let's head up past Oak Street. Copy that. Would you look at that? Your own grandpa. Didn't even stop to say hello. <laughs> and you call that family. You did it, kid. The Russians bought it. They're not happy about it, but they'll aim the missiles where we tell them. And that's good, because the space station says the asteroid's entering Earth's gravity as we speak. Trajectory vectors. Should have them at any minute. Luckily, Cassandra's going to miss them by at least a mile. Good. Contact. We have to assume the worst. Trent! Trent! Michael!
missiles. Okay, the initial impact was there. So allowing for trajectory differentiation. Atmospherics. How long till your asteroid hits? About a half hour, if we're lucky. You're not making this up, are you? It's all right here. I'm gonna die unless we stop this. I'm sorry about your daughter. I will find her if it's the last thing I do. Which, according to you, it may well be. This is insane. It's just... I know. Well, I don't care if it is all ending. You want to be with her? I know. You're a good father. Oh, I am a poor excuse for a father. Love my dad. Went out for cigarettes when I was 12 and never came back. So wherever he is, I can guarantee he's not thinking about me. Trust me, you're a good father. Thanks. Get that! I'm coming to get you! 
Dad, we're not alone. That's right. You're not. Is that you, Calvin? Yep. Playtime's over, Jack. Slide your gun out to me. Now! What's going on, Calvin? Uh, don't do that, Chief. Daddy has Jenny. Where is she, Calvin? I want to ask again. You're in no position to ask anything. Now, I think it's time for you to say goodbye to your daddy. <laughs> goodbye, Calvin. Good shot, son. You got it. <laughs> yeah, this is Imogen. She needs the phone right away. Uh, I think the phones are out all over town. Uh, where do you think he stashed Jenny? I, I don't know, but I'll find her. What about the radio tower on the Hangman's Hill? Is it a microwave transmitter? I don't know. I, I think so. But don't you think we ought to find my granddaughter first? I will find Jenny. All right. You get Imogen up the hill. We'll meet you there. All right. Jenny. Jenny. Baby. Daddy. I knew you'd make it. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. It's over. I'm so sorry about all this. It's not your fault. Yes. Yes, it is. You're a cop. That's what you do. You do the right thing even if it hurts. I get it. Is Grandpa okay? Hello? Hello? Russ? Oh my god! Oh my god! Russ! My god! My baby! My blood! Oh, oh sweetie! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, are you alright? Okay. Oh my god. Hey, Buck's gonna pass out. Alright. Alright. Out. Out. Everybody out now. Move, move. I got him, I got him, I got him. Get the oxygen outside, come on. I can do? No, I'm almost there. I just 
just gotta boost the cell signal. San Diego and LA both have visuals. And now Seattle, that's three. Start triangulating. Send vectors. Coming through. I forgot to shut the windows. Brasser. It's Imogen. Are you tracking Cassandra? We're about to launch. We have her on visual. No, she's past the event horizon. The fallout. We'll probably kill a lot of us. I'm sorry, Miss O'Neill. What is it? It's too late. We're all gonna die. Miss O'Neill, we're launching. How much firepower do you have? Well, hopefully enough. China and Russia are launching with us. Okay, I need your real-time descent vector. What's the point? Just give it to me, okay? I have an idea. One... One, zero, five, 18 at 30 degrees to the ecliptic. Okay, okay. Uh... Hello? Hello? Hello, Miss O'Neill. Hello, Miss O'Neill? Sir, we really should launch. Start the launch sequence. Yes, sir. Again, um, the generator. Gotta need a fuse for that. I thought this would come in handy. <laughs> no! Funny it should end this way, huh? Yeah, funny. Okay, assume velocity. You did it, man. You did it.
thought I told you to stay in the car. Yeah. But I never listened, do I? <laughs> no, I, I'm fine, thanks. Don't worry about me. Oh, Grandpa, are you okay? <laughs> you think this thing is radioactive? Oh. <laughs> I still need power. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Launch. Repeat. Launch. Weapons are red and free. Go. AG-1, launch. Seconds till impact. It's been an honor to serve with you. All of you. Presser. I'm sorry we've launched. How long till impact? Just over a minute. You can reprogram on the go. Put me on the box. New coordinates. What's the point? Because I, I figured it out. No fallout. Impossible. Okay, well, I can explain it to you, or we could save the planet, okay? So it's your choice. Go. New coordinates. Reset on the fly. Okay, your target. Five, zero, two, 46, 18 degrees, two seconds below midpoint. Got it. New coordinates, 5, 0, 2, 46, 18 degrees, two seconds below midpoint. Okay, now set all missiles to self-destruct on impact. That's ridiculous. General, do you want to die today? timeline projections. Sir, the woman's a genius. 40 seconds to impact. Do it. Set all missiles to detonate on impact. to impact. Birds are blown. Detonation complete. All right, Fallout. We... It up, what? We, we missed, sir. All ground units report still seeing the asteroid. Lieutenant, you said she was a genius. Why did I listen to that girl? Because we're still alive, sir. coordinates to deflect her. The missile explosion acted as a shield, a bumper. And it worked? All stations report. The asteroid changed trajectory. It, it's heading out of the atmosphere. Oh! General, did it work? They're dying. You did it! Imogen, you did it! They sound pretty happy for dead people.
I, just, I, want to, I want to say something. I'd like to propose a toast, first of all, to our gracious host for providing us with this wonderful meal. Yeah, and, it's the least we could do. And I would also like to say a special thanks to you, Imogen, for your courage. Without you, none of us would be here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Please excuse me. Close call, 18 years from now, around 2027. How close? An asteroid named AN 1999. I think it's gonna pass within about 200,000 miles of Earth. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't seem so close. Unless we're one degree off or if Something knocks her off her course. 